Hello everyone, here are the latest market news on June 19, 2020. Trump threatens to sever ties with China. U.S. President Donald Trump renewed his threat to cut ties with China despite his top diplomats on Wednesday held talks with Beijing and his trade representative Robert Lighthizer said he did not consider confrontation between the U.S. and Chinese economies as a viable option. The top U.S. diplomat for East Asia described U.S.-China relations as tense after their first high-level face-to-face diplomatic talks in month, although he said Beijing did recommit to the first part of a trade deal reached this year and that coming weeks would show if there had been progress. However, U.S.-China relations have reached their lowest point in years since the coronavirus pandemic that began in China hit the United States hard, and Trump and his administration have repeatedly accused Beijing of not being transparent about the outbreak. Sales rise public loan hit a record in U.K. The gradually relaxing of coronavirus lockdown in the United Kingdom led to strongly than expected rise in retail sales last month, although the country's public borrowing hit a record high in May. Data from the Office for National Statistics showed that sales volumes in May surged by a record 12 percent after a historic 18 percent slump in April. The increase was at the top end of analysts' expectations but still remains 13.1 percent lower than a year ago. The official data also bear the scale of the hit to Britain's public finances as a result of the government's huge increase in spending, much of it on its job retention scheme. Public sector net borrowing hit £55.2 billion, $68.7 billion in May, marking a record high after April's reading of £48.5 billion. The May figure was nine times bigger than the deficit in same month last year. Nissan takes more measures to recover from virus. The Japanese automaker Nissan Motor Co. stated on Friday it will cut more shifts at its three assembly plants in Japan due to falling demand, as the company struggles to recover from a drop in sales triggered by the coronavirus pandemic. On its website, Nissan wrote it will cancel all night shifts at one of its production sites in Kyushu, southern Japan, from June 29th to July 31st. Night shifts at its other Kyushu site will also be stopped from July 20th to July 31st. Moreover, Nissan plans to stop output at its plant in Opama, Kanagawa Prefecture on two days in July, while its factory in Tachigi Prefecture will be closed over eight days next month. World shares increase despite new virus fears. Global stocks rise on Friday despite concerns about a fresh coronavirus outbreak try to offset growing hopes for a quick economic recovery. U.S. S&P 500 and Minis moved near red zone but traded 0.21 percent higher at the last point. MSCI's broadest index of Asia-Pacific shares outside Japan climbed 0.1 percent, while Chinese stocks soared 1.15 percent, led by gains in financials and the healthcare sector. European shares also opened higher on Friday ahead of the year. European Council's meeting to negotiate the EU recovery fund with Germany's left hands again in 3.5 percent on signs of movement in its stalled government bailout. The pan-European stock 600 rose 0.5 percent, with the German shares leading gains.